Welcome primary six students to Zoo Animals Escape, which is Unit 7, Part 1. Learning objectives of Lesson 1, which is the conversation time. In this lesson, we are going to learn to make an emergency telephone call and to identify speakers in a conversation. Characters of the conversation. We're going to meet an operator, Ahmed, an officer, and Hod. Story of the conversation. Ahmed and his sister Hoda are at home. Their parents are at the cinema. There is something in the garden. Ahmed is calling the emergency for help. Listen and repeat. One, two, two. What's the emergency? Help! There is something in my garden. What is it? I think, um, I think it's a wild animal. I can see its eyes. What's your name and address? Ahmed Sami, 49 is Salem Street. Are your parents home? No, they went to the cinema. I'm taking care of my little sister. What should I do? Stay calm. I'm sending an officer now. Is this the wild animal? Sorry, officer. I'll take him. Oh, my dog. Main vocabulary. Animals. We can see a giraffe, a zebra, a lion, a deer, many animals. Address. The address is the place. The place where you live is the address of your house. The place you work is the address of your office. Little. Younger, smaller. My little sister is my younger sister. Escape. This bird is escaping from the cage. Garden. The children are playing in the garden. Street. We can see houses on both sides of the street. Call. He's not angry. He's calm and quiet. Emergency. These are the people that we call in case of emergency. Sometimes we need to call the police. Sometimes we need to call the ambulance. Other times we need to call the firefighters. Wild. Wild animals. They live in the jungle. They live in the forest. Like the elephant, the giraffe, the lion, the monkey, the crocodile, the tiger. Officer. The policeman, the police officer. Conjugation of verbs. We have regular verbs and irregular verbs. The regular verbs are the verbs that change in the past by adding ed or d or ied. But the irregular verbs don't follow a certain rule. As for the regular verbs, we have three verbs here. Stay, stayed. Visit, visited. Live, lived. As for the irregular verbs, think, thought. Go, went. Send, sent. See, so. Take care of, took care of. Language functions. Asking about emergency. What's the emergency? Help, there is something in my garden. So he had an emergency, so he called 122 and she asked, what's your emergency? Do you need an officer? Do you need an ambulance? What's your emergency? And he answered, that he was afraid or scared because there was something in his garden. 
asking about name and address. What's your name and address? His name is Ahmed Sami and his address is 49 Salem Street. Asking for advice. He wants to know what should he do in this case? What should I do? Stay call. I'm sending an officer now. Making sure of the information. Is this the wild animal? So the boy apologized and said, Sorry, officer, I'll take him. Checkpoint. Let's see how far we understood the lesson. Listen and complete. Operator, one, two, two, what's the emergency? Ahmed, help. There is something in my garden. Operator, what is it? Ahmed, I think it's a wild animal. I can see its eyes. Operator, are your parents home? Ahmed, no, they went to the cinema. Listen and circle. You're going to hear a question and an answer. In numbers one and two, you're going to circle the correct answer. And in numbers three and four, you're going to circle the correct question. One, what's your address? 44 Ahmad Hamdi Street. Yes, number B is the answer. Two, are your parents home? No, they went to the cinema. Correct, number B is the answer. Number three, what should I do? Stay, call. Exactly. 3A is the answer. 4. Are your parents home? Yes, they are. So, number A is the answer. Choose the suitable answer. For each one, we're going to have four choices and we're going to decide which one is the correct one. Number 1. What should I does do doing to do if we have should in the sentence this is the helping verb the main verb should be in the infinitive so what should i do number two are is have do your parents home this is a very simple question in which we use verb to be in the present simple are your parents home number three i am taking care from after, of, in, my little sister. What's the preposition that we should use? Taking care of means looking after my little sister. Number four, the tiger is a good, light, wild, calm animal. Tiger. Yes, the tiger is a wild animal. It's not calm. Number five, I'm talking. I'm telling, I'm thinking, or I'm taking care of my little sister. Taking care of my little sister is the answer. Looking after my little sister. Number six, the teacher, officer, farmer, baker helps people who have emergencies. If you have an emergency, you call the officer. Number seven, Ahmed lives to live, live, living at 44 Islam Street. Okay, so this is a fact. Ahmed lives, present simple. Number eight, what's your name and dessert, dress, address, bless. What's your name and address? And we said that the address is the place where you live. Circle the odd one and replace it with the correct one. In each number, we're going to have four words. Three of them are linked together or connected, and one is different or odd. We're going to circle this odd one and try to replace it with a fourth one that is connected to the first three. Number one, are, what, 
how and when. What, how and when are question words, but R is different. So this is the odd one and we're going to replace it with where. Number two, think, go, officer, take. Think, go and take are verbs in the present simple, but officer is a noun. So this is the odd one and we're going to replace it with any verb in the present simple like live. Number three, garden, parents, cinema, and theater. Garden, cinema, and theater are places. So the odd one is parents and we're going to replace it with a, a, any place. Park. Number four, father, brother, wife, and sister. Father, brother, and sister are family members. Wild is different and we're going to replace it with mother. Number five, took, say, stay, and think. Say, stay, and think are verbs in the present simple, but took is a verb in the past simple. So this is the different one or the odd one and we're going to replace it with take or any verb in the present simple. Rearrange the following words to make correct sentences. Number one, my garden, there is something in. This is a sentence because it ends with a full stop and we're going to start by the underlined word which is there is. So there is something in my garden. Number two, is and name address your what? This is a question because it ends with a question mark and we're going to start by the question word what which is underlined. What is your name and address? Number three, this is wild the animal. Again this is a question because it ends in a question mark and we're going to start by the underlined word is. Is this the wild animal? Number four, officer, I'm sending now the I. This is a sentence because it ends in a full stop and we're going to start by the underlined word I. I am sending an officer now. I am sending the officer now. Learning objectives of lesson two, which is word time. We're going to read short sentences, we're going to write short sentences, and we're going to learn some vocabulary words about the zoo animals. Main vocabulary. Parrot. Parrot. It's a bird with colorful feathers. Deer. Deer. And the deer has two horns. Camel. Camel. The camel lives in the desert. Lion. Lion. Giraffe. Giraffe. Tiger, tiger, eagle, eagle, panda, panda, bear, bear, kangaroo, kangaroo. Listen and repeat. Tiger. Can you find the tiger here? Yes, this is the tiger. Number one. Eagle. Where is the eagle? Yes, it's flying near the house. Number three. Panda. Panda. Where is the panda? It's in the garden. Number four, 
bear bear that is the bear number five kangaroo kangaroo where is the kangaroo it's hopping in the backyard number six parrot parrot can you see the parrot number six it's standing on top of the house number seven deer deer the deer is running by number eight camel camel number nine line line and number ten is the giraffe listen and point to the speakers let's first look at the picture what can you see in the picture you can see father and his son they are both looking at the sky son dad do you think it's going to rain father maybe it's getting cloudy let's go inside son oh i don't want to go inside picture two we can see a mother and the daughter they are sitting on a couch daughter mom where is sarah mother she's in the bathroom she's putting on makeup daughter is she going out tonight mother yes she is third picture friend where did you go on friday mona i went to the beach with my dad i got a sunburn friend did you wear any sunscreen mona no i forgot conjugation of verbs again regular verbs and irregular verbs for the regular verbs we have only two verbs rain rained we add ed to the verb to form the past simple tense want wanted again we add ed but for, for the irregular verbs we have many of them do did where wore go out went out eat ate put on put on forget forgot and fly flew expressions and phrases it's getting cloudy when we see lots of clouds in the sky we can say it's getting cloudy maybe it's going to rain number two go inside if you're outside you go inside to avoid the rain number three put on makeup number four wear sunscreen if you sit in the sun you need to wear sunscreen in order to avoid getting a sunburn number five get a sunburn so if you don't wear sunscreen you get a sunburn eat a fish number seven eat leaves giraffes eat leaves number eight take a nap a nap is when you sleep for a short while so for example when you return home after school you take a nap before you wake up and start studying language functions asking about opinion the son is asking his father do you think dad do you think it's going to rain maybe it's getting cloudy so when the father saw the clouds in the sky he thought maybe maybe it's going to rain because it's getting cloudy number two suggestion how can we suggest something let's let's go inside so the father is suggesting that they go inside because it's getting cloudy and maybe it's going to rain oh i don't want to go inside 
comparative for? We use comparative adjectives to compare one thing with another. And we add ER to the one syllable words to make comparatives. Adjective plus ER plus than. Fast, faster than. Small, smaller than. And slow, slower than. So the adjectives are fast, small, or slow. And in, in order to form the comparative word, we add ER at the end of the adjective. So it becomes faster or smaller or slower. And we add the word than to compare two things to each other. So Ahmed is faster than Ali. That means that Ahmed runs faster than Ali. And Ali is slower than Ahmed. So we're comparing two people to each other. Examples. The eagle is faster than the parrot. And the kangaroo is slower than the deer. In the first example, we're comparing the eagle to the parrot using the adjective fast in the comparative form, which is faster than. In the second example, we're comparing the kangaroo to the deer using the adjective slow in the comparative form slower than. If an adjective ends in a vowel plus a constant, we double the last constant. For example, big, bigger. Why did we double the G? Because there is one vowel before the last constant. There is an I before the G, so we double the G before we add the ER. Thin, thinner. Why did we double the N? Because there is one vowel, which is the I, before the last constant, which is the N. So we double the N. Fat, fatter. Again, we double the T because there is one vowel, which is A, before the T. Examples. The snake is thinner than the giraffe. We're comparing the snake to the giraffe using the, the adjective thin in the comparative form thinner than. The elephant is bigger than the monkey. We're comparing the elephant to the monkey using the adjective big in the comparative form bigger than. Checkpoint. Listen and complete. Amr, where is Sara? Mom, she's in the bathroom. Amr, what's she doing? Mom, she's putting on makeup. Amr, is she going out tonight? Mom, yes, she is. Listen and circuit. In numbers 1 to 4, you're going to hear mini dialogues, a question and an answer. In numbers 1 and 2, you're going to circle the correct answer. And in numbers three and four, you're going to circle the correct question. Number one, what's she doing? She is taking a nap. Yes, the answer is B. Number two, do you think it's going to rain? Maybe. Yes, the answer is A. Number three, do you like tigers? Yes, I do. So the answer is B. Number four, what's your favorite animal? The panda. The answer is A. Choose the suitable answer. In each one, we're going to have four choices and we're going to decide which one is the correct one. Number one, the parrot, the cat, the tiger, the eagle is a wild animal. Which one is the wild animal? Yes, the tiger. Number two, is she going in, out, on, for tonight? Is she going out tonight? 
Number three, I go, goes, going, went to the beach with my dad last Friday. Last Friday, this is past simple. So we use the verb go in the past simple, which is went. Number four, the panda, giraffe, eagle, deer can fly. Which of these can fly? Yes, only the eagle can fly. Number five, the eagle, deer, parrot, bear is very big. Which one is very big? Yes, the bear. Number six, she is putting, drawing, playing, taking on makeup. What does she do with the makeup? She is putting on makeup. Number seven, when, why, where, how is Iman? In the bathroom. If I'm asking about a place or a location, we use where. Number eight, what did you do at, in, on, of, Wednesday? With days, we use on because it's a specific date. Rearrange the following words to make correct sentences. Number one, to, don't, inside, go, want, I. And this is a sentence because it ends with a full stop. I don't want to go inside. Number two, putting is on makeup she. And this is a question because it ends with a question mark. We're going to start by is. Is she putting on makeup? Number three, you did any wear sunscreen? Question mark. So it's a question and we're going to start by underlined did. Did you wear any sunscreen? Number four, cloudy, it's getting full stop. It's a sentence and we're going to start by it's, it's getting cloudy. Thank you very much. See you in Zoo Animals Escape part two.